So if you're traveling by plane and you look outside of the window, you might notice that the jet engines actually have these spikes on the outside. Uh, now these serrations actually contribute to reducing the sound profile of the jet. And I was wondering if maybe this technology could be applied to underwater vehicles such as jet skis. Uh, one thing I learned from doing my project is uh, how to actually like make something of my own, which in my case was this uh, underwater jet. And um, essentially just kind of understanding how to make a prototype and how to iterate it until you have a functional device which you can do the testing with. My extended essay project looked at the causes for the eating disorder, eating disorder of bulimia nervosa and it reviewed past studies to look at whether it was more biologically or cognitively correlated. For my extended essay, I looked into how a pessimistic uh, atmosphere was conveyed through the album Helplessness Blues, which was released in 2011. Um, so Helplessness Blues is my favorite album of all time, and so it was a, a real joy to look into how a pessimistic atmosphere was, was conveyed in that album. So one thing I learned from the project is, uh, was how to, uh, I guess, organize a long-term project. So the extended essay is obviously a project which takes many months to complete. And so it's really important that you co uh, compartmentalize your time in accordance with the work that you have to do. Uh, for my extended pro essay project, I looked into the Cuban Revolution, which was described by many, many historians like John Foran as the most thoroughgoing in world history. And particularly, I looked at Castro's influence within that, since he was one of the most uh, long, longest ruling dictators in modern history. So for my extended essay project, I looked at a movie I'm, that's quite sort of uh, close to my heart, Spirited Away. And I tried to analyze how the uh, literary choices of symbolism, the representation of characters, uh, and of the relationships between those characters sort of had uh, a deeper effect on the viewer emotionally uh, through their portrayal of uh, sort of the psyche of a child. Well, my extended essay was in chemistry and it was essentially a model for water filtration in which I use sodium alginate which is, which is just seaweed and I use that to filter out um, metal ions in unfiltered water and so I just use different elements which would increase the amount of metal ions that would be absorbed. Um, I would say one thing I learned from the project is the importance of lab work um, and experimental work and be able to um, adjust in the lab like when you come to problems, especially in chemistry when things are so unpredictable that you have to adjust yourself and come up with things on the spot. I chose to write an extended essay in language and literature, in English language literature, and I chose a group three paper which is more based around culture and its relationship to literature and the piece of literature that I chose to study was the Rage Against the Machine album, Rage Against the Machine, which is a really politically activist album in itself. And I chose to explore it through a sort of process that enabled it to encourage political action to its listeners, which was establishing an audience, persuading the audience to take, that there was a problem to take action against, and then instructions on how to take action. Uh, I'm personally a big fan of engineering and that's the degree I want to pursue in the future and having the opportunity to uh, like indulge in a research project like this one and make my own device has kind of inspired me to keep on uh, pursuing my interests and also maybe prepared me to some degree for the degree that, that I'm going to be uh, pursuing. One thing I can apply for my work is definitely how to uh, weed through uh, research that's already been done and look at more recent and past research and compare them. I think also I learned that, uh, or I can apply um, my knowledge about psychology and various aspects of life because it's a very multifaceted problem. So what's great, uh, so great about the English extended essay is that all of the literary elements that you end up looking at are used in practically every piece of art that's produced. So every advertisement that you see, every book that you read, every song that you listen to, sort of all taken to use these, these literary techniques. With these sort of wider analysis projects, it's very easy to go way too wide, way off the rails. Um, but I think regardless of the subject that you're analyzing or the, the project that you're working on, I think having a very, very specific goal in mind really helps in achieving that goal. One way I can apply this is definitely um, in future endeavors, for example, in, um, as I'm planning on going to study science in um, university as climate change becomes more prevalent in our um, everyday life 
I would say the experiment can be used at larger scale industries to um, help and prevent some of those effects. Uh, one thing I learned in this project is the importance of looking at a lot of different sources in order to come to a set conclusion. Since there are a lot of uh, a lot of bias, especially there's a lot of bias, especially in history. If you look at Castro's own uh, uh, autobiography, that will have a pretty different view of the revolution than, say, uh, an American writer talking about it uh, 20 years later. One thing I can use this for outside of school is definitely noticing the little things, as abstract as that sounds given that every little literary feature had importance in my studies.